the uh, you know complex set of uh, subjectivity that he, that he has. You were saying that already happens in the psyche, it already happens in the unconscious. His archaeology and his genealogy, the morality, criminality, sexuality, they they literally articulate these concepts, diagrams of of certain discourses, you know? Like I don't have a book for Kate Richards right now, but like we can literally read through it and see how like, you know, the uh, disciplinary regime would have, you know, like um, it had all sorts of it had you know, its own conceptual diagram, you know, like with um, its own specific ways of like um, targeting bodies and most intense forms and agents of, of reproduction and um, like um, yeah just many many factors that are like unique to it and then that would be you know unique in any situation but uh, nevertheless it's not like you can sit from an armchair and logically deduce the concepts that would be at play or most relevant to the discourse because that discourse is ultimately, ultimately like a pragmatic thing so like um, it, it doesn't it doesn't exist by instinct production you right know? so should artists create systems in which to work. Artists should create systems, belief systems, material systems, idea systems, creation machine systems, systems, systems that work, regardless of what that product is every time, whether it's a pearl or it's a piece of sand or junk, have that be a system that they can operate within. Because you say an artist creates their own world. You know, he has an iconography. She has the, you know, she's comfortable in this place you know here are her themes here are here are these ideas and so you know artists might not think of themselves as diagramming um, you know relationships between material and information but I really see you know artists as as creating systems and you know I guess I also see then there that there's also a nice segue into like you know, everyone's an artist because people have little systems. They have little things like they they do something a certain way and they do it every day and they're comforted by that relationship to a way of being, which you know, to to us we would kind of call it in a standard pedagogy, a practice of being. But you know, the artist is is creating their own experimental way of being, their own interpretive pedagogy and way of being and seeing and doing in the world. They're just using materials and tools of art making. Although some artists don't use those tools of art making. They're interested in like social sculptures or, you know, how can I how can I create an artwork but not be using the materials or the tools or the techniques of an artist. And I think that's really an interesting place that artists are in now, you know, like, you know, artists using the lecture format to make their art or artists using um, a different career to make their art or artists doing things in their personal lives within the frame of it being an artistic practice. Or like you said, Lucero, like being like, my running program is my art, you know? Is it just about being passionate about a system and, and the creation of it? Well, I think artists, you know, probably do already, but I think they could, you know, work and create their system. Um, I think the real issue, though, is, is like that he fell into one of our students. They're making an, an ontological decision that he things in terms of system. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, it's a choice. You can see things in terms of like platonic, abstract, ideal, eternal forms, or you can see them in scale and reach in a uh, way like systems. And it's like the, the, the biggest problem though, I think, in, in being an artist or being anyone, is when you 
say they let people live by such things. It's like, yeah, they do live. Their everyday lives are, like, dictated by such things. But they cannot, not only are emotions are not conscious of the system or how it works or how it changes, but they don't experiment with it. And so it becomes purely a form of, of habit. Like, right. you know, yes, they, 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 their enjoyment comes from this systemic mode of existence, but, like, the way they're inhabiting that system is habit. Well, too yeah. okay. So, habituated. Okay. So, so the, the real trick for, for the person who wants to create or experiment is to, is to stop seeing the system as an object and to start seeing it the way you know Foucault writes about what archaeology that you know a discourse. His word for system is discourse, at least in that book. You know, mm-hmm. tradition is you know a system. Uh, I think in a thousand plateaus, their word for um, you know system is like. system, um, and, you know, Foucault, I think, Dying says it pretty, expli- pretty explicitly or plainly, at least, I would say, for me, that it has four sort of dimensions, you know, it, it has, the system has objects, it has enunciations, that is what people say, or what speak, it has concepts, and it has strategy. And so, by people continuing to see systems as objects, you know, there, there probably is already a shitty art movement called, like, systems art, but it's only seeing, it's only seeing systems as, as objects, you know, like, well, here's the thing, you're, really a system is like a combination of these four things, it's objects, it's enunciations, it's concepts, and it's strategies, it's also relations, it's relationships, well, here's the thing, as a punk rocker, you eat, live, shit, breathe, rock and roll, punk, right? So as this artist, philosopher that you are, you are literally digesting so much, regurgitating, researching in a scholarly way, in a monk way, in a DIY way, philosophy and aesthetics and and as your practice. So here's what I want to ask you. You gave me that awesome uh, chart, uh, uh, that Lacanian chart, which is like, are you a woman right now? Like, in terms of subjectivity, are you a man right now? Are you a child right now? Like, you know, in my, in Heather's worldview, it's like, are you motivated by fear? Are you motivated by, by love? Are you a shepherd right now? Are you, are you the wolf? Are you the shark? And this whole becoming animal thing that I'm interested in in terms of Deleuze's ideas. So I ask you, do you look at the world, experience your process, as a person, as a man, as an artist, through Spinoza, are you Nietzsche right now? Are you Deleuze right now? Is it Badu right now? Is it Foucault right now? Because I I wager it it potentially is. And is that, and what I want to ask you, is that, is that now a system for creating for you? Because I think it's a really interesting place that you're in as an artist. And I, I feel like artists haven't said, I know artists are very, creators are very interested in philosophy and aesthetics and theory. Very interested in, in critically how work or a practice is critically interesting. Or just in life, you know? Very interesting. But who is your material? Who is your 